This is Keepsakes, the podcast. I'm Jay Agonoy. All right, it's episode 34 of the podcast and continuing our discussion from SMC Side City Cebu. Jay Agonoy, Serena from thelilicat.com and Cebu's Cosplay event buzzer, Gary Mateo, is now here at Jollibee in Besak. Hello, good evening. Hey, guys. Nakakain na, nakakain na tayo. Ayan. Alright, so um, there's still a lot of stories here from Cebu na dadalhin ko pagbalik ko sa Manila. And uh, we'll continue with uh, Otaku Fest Day 2. Okay. Day 2 is... Uh, Super worthy. Okay, from, continuing from... Ano, Pop culture Hiroshima. Pop mm. culture Hiroshima. I think the uh, the last time we were, we, we were talking about Team Wet Pan and Mass Disruption. As I've said... On the last, because if you are a regular of of on the updates on on World Cosplay Summit Philippines, this team, Team Weapon and Mass Destruction, is notable. Parang medyo oh, no, oh, they've been they've been joining WCS for many times, and sometimes they bag a place, pero hindi not the winners, mm-hmm. ano, not the winner slot. And then pop culture Hiroshima came in and all their hard work paid off. Like this is this is really their year. Oh God, this is really their year. They deserve uh, to win talaga. Because uh, a personal experience, although hindi, edo, although classified information siya. No? Pero they competed in Manila too. Hmm. Yeah, they yeah they compete they competed in Manila and uh, yeah it was. I uh, I was actually very happy with their skit because it was the end angel was very nostalgic and sabi 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 ko nga is winning by nostalgia that is a, that's a, that's a been, that has been applied by the guys at Team Mexico who won the 2018 yeah. World Cosplay Championship yeah all right okay so, so yeah and um, you know sa, sa skit nila I was able to to record it like grabbing yung effort like they've Technically, they've learned everything from from experience from the past years of competing. So, yes, congratulations to them, Gravin. Like even until even until now, yung performance nila is still fresh from my memory. Their battle skit was really artistically performed. Like I I saw the how the wings actually. Flap when you know the fighting scene. Yeah. Then the mm-hmm. then. Uh, ano po ay nang black? Masa i actually uh, twist and ano ubikot siya ay nang ganda ng ano mm. ng pagkaha choreograph ang ganda talaga. That I have something I I really have to see from your archives. <laughs> yes. Kasi hindi okay. at that time sabi ko nga umorder ako ng pizza para sa atin and wow. drinks and uh, I'm okay with that. Pero yung talagang talagang it's a sense of comfort relief na Lori May Mintal and uh, Lori May Mintal oh my god they finally did it they finally did it diba? they finally did it diba? parang it's worth it eh. kahit di mo kahit di mo naabot kahit di ko naabotan eh. it's worth it yeah. finally yun ang masabi ko finally hashtag finally oo at last at last oh. okay. now let's go to the this incident okay let's talk about that incident <laughs> Uh, actually, do, do I mind uh, talking? Uh, do I mind that is that an incident for me? Because, I said, wrestling. I've seen from PWR cosplay, fights. From cosplay competition <laughs> to wrestling competition, real quick. Okay, hold on. Let's go. Okay. Let's Kilala mo ba yung mga yon, bay? Uh, no, I know. I think they come from the colored. Ah, they came from. Or ilo ilo bayon? I'm not sure. From Davao. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, well, sure. I'm not sure. Either, either from Messiahs or from Mindanao. It's either there. Yeah. Pero kung hindi kung hindi kilala ni Gary, baka nga sa ibang lugar. Sige lang kasi, of course, kung ano ko lang. Sabi ko, I'll have to tell them, what the hell are you doing? You're, are you, you're from Cebu. And ganyan, ganyan, diba? Pero, but hold on. Let, let, I think it's time for the to the audience who's listening right now. To, discri- uh, to know what, ta- what we're talking about. Kasi yes, okay, okay, okay. Medyo so, kinakabahan ako dito eh. Kinakabahan ko. Hash, uh, explicit tag is activated on this episode. <laughs> yeah. <Right. laughs> <coughs> My goodness. I don't know where to start. So, okay, let... Um, I wish... Oh, yeah. Wait, SPG. <laughs> okay, um, I ex- uh, to explain this, uh, there's this, this despair na um, ang character niya is Shoto. Shoto? 
Shoto from My Hero Academia. Uh-huh. And they were so in character, they did it real. And then it's like a wrestling. And then, and then yung, ano niya, yung part of it was Anomo. Anomo, oh, yeah. Like one of the minion villains sa Boku no Hero Academia. So, yeah, and she has, yung, yung, yung suit niya, may padding talaga yun. Uh-huh. Na, ano, may kutsun yun. And right? the helmet. And the helmet. And then, it's like, but it was, at first, talaga, it was like, uh, I think the story again is like Shoto is like woke up, and then, uh, and then he got a call that there might be danger happening, and then suddenly he started browsing his phone, and then there goes music coming in, and then suddenly JoJo opening theme song started playing and he started singing, which is okay. Me just sing masha. Pero biglang parang yung palagalit na palasya ano? Oh, and then nga. Uh, Galit na siya on scene. Pagkatapos yung kumanta, yun na, dumating na si Nomo. Si Nomo, as far as I remember... Nomo no was really trashing everything. Eh. Even even the chair. Now, one chair. thing one thing that I noted upon that happening is that when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. <laughs> That's what the po- chief director of photography did. Eh. Na- nabato sa kanya yung upuan, of course. Na- 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 nabutan siya, buti, nakailag naman. Pero she used the chair eventually to sit down on it. <laughs> That's true. Uh-huh. I think I get, I finally get what you mean by that. Uh-huh. Pero yung nga, nung, nung, nung binato ni Nomo, yung chair, natamaan siyong sound system, na-ricochet uh, uh, sa to the ground, and then, uh, then naumupo siya, no? Si director? Uh, yung si photography, si director pa- for photography yata siya. Okay, yan. And then yung nga, okay, that was one strike. The second strike was what? Yung sa Shoto. Nag-gamit siya ng fire actually. Ay, before that, sa Shoto, ano yan, nag-aaway na sila. Uh-huh. And then sa Shoto, nahulog sa stage. Sa so, galing na stage. And then katabag, katabi pa sila. Oo, katabi pa sila. Ang tingnan lang nandun si Mr. Nakata. Because si Mr. Nakata wasn't there to help him. Uh, her. Uh, her. Uh, him. Uh, him. Uh, him. Uh, him. Yes, okay. uh, who knows what would have happened to that dude? So, uh, I think that's actually planned. Eh. At, uh, it was actually part of that. No? Uh, I, I, I think, yeah, it was I orchestrated. Think he was, I think it's either, I think na inform na atas niya si Mr. Nakata or the people yung uh, si staff, uh, I guess. Kasi binibigyan na siya ng props eh. Oh. Alam niya, alam niya, at alam nung makasama niya. So, this is a kayfabe. And then, yun nga, nung pagkahulog ni Shoto, ni Shoto, ayun na yung, yung uh, one of the assistants is trying to prepare na the, ano, the fireball. Yung parang ano, para sa kamay niya ba, to throw in the fireball. Eh, unfortunately, it failed. And then, while they were preparing it, si ano naman, si Nomo, okay. was so distracting getting, the judges. Even uh, getting close to Rey Kasano. Get, uh, getting uh, close. Pero yun, so, nga lang, it, the, unfortunately, the fireball failed. Ang nangyari, ay nag-wrestling. Nag-wrestling sila doon. Shoto! Sumigaw sa to. Then, gumanoon. Then, I think na you. Na. Pat- arms, thumbs, yata. I think tinak na git tinakal niya si ano tapos si tatag si football you as football tatag talaga yan oh, yeah. my <laughs> goodness <laughs> that the thing Sinobo. that thing the thing about that is yun nga yung tackle is concerning the fall is concerning and the judges were concerned and the reveal that the was much more shocking cuz you only to find out that it was a girl who was wearing the normal costume i don't know kasi wala yung bawal pag tanggal pag 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 sa helmet pag nagdaan na helmet sa ano eh ayun yun nga so, so oh, to cut it short dressing happened and the judges were also concerned and to a point was, this is ano it was really scary and it was really painful to ikaw, ikaw natakot ka eh yeah. yeah. I wasn't I wasn't scared I, I was have really, so many questions I was shocked and I was, so I was like we were there we were nearby oh, we I have so many questions worried. and then uh, I, I it made me I think one of your questions is ano it's, no, now that the girl, now that it is really that that's a girl uh-huh. who's wearing that costume, is he doing? Uh, is he going all easy on her, or maybe it's still gonna be a little is bit? It's still in, it's still in character. It's still in character. Character. They did tell that it was really in character, but still, regardless, fam, it doesn't matter if that's your friend or not. But please calm your tits. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but I know fairness is <clears throat> um, I always believe kasi on the saying na you go home um, you you go big you go home. Just kasi wala lang 
kung masaktan ka pala kung, kung masaktan ka lang naman gawin ano tuduhin mo na ang problema kasi niyan is that now that the audience saw that it was a girl who is named parang yeah, that, that gave them more concern that gave more concern and that could that all that could have already raised the sensitivity sana oh, oh, so of course uh, show to, this, uh, that it could have been easy on the girl or maybe um dayain ang ano ang choreography that it it would not look like na WWE nga na si wrestler A bumabasa rin kasi na nasa si wrestler B sa baba na yung ginagawin so syempre that's, not, that's a classical you know WWE thing it's, it's kayfabe thing yeah. pero the, the floor is smooth this one uh, floor natin is it's rock hard is rock hard solid ano um, setting aside that puputulin ko na yan and that to end the, to cap that the yeah, judges were concerned uh, same, uh, safety first daw uh, safety first diha, next time yun na yun ano pero um, we cannot I, I can I for one cannot judge what uh, what's the back story of that kasi di, at that time na malapit tayo sa kanila hindi ko sila tinanong nahihiya ako sa kanila yeah and that's and, that's, and to me that's normal na mahiya ako kung baga parang nahihiya ako mahihiya na akong tao o nga nagtanong ka lang naman pasigaw dahil dyan po that's ka hindi I agree um, yes oh, I did that actually I did that uh, parang it's, it's also a matter of concern are you okay are you okay? Because it's not okay to me. Kung ako yung, if I put my service shoes. But the, the, the thing is, if I go deeper that, baka mamaya ma- ma- mapagkamalan ako SJW. Uh, social yeah. justice, diba? Yeah, social then justice. She relates to it. She is so, so well. Well, I totally get that. And then, ang problem lang kala, ang, ang, ang first thinking ko kasi, is that since the show is still ongoing, the, uh, the audience kasi is like, okay, parang it's creating a different color na kasi what's happening. This guy is hurting the girl, a girl, whether or not he's Actually, wearing. the issue is more like. More on gender, talaga. Yeah. Gen- um, na about na ang point na that the gender was in question. I think that's what Selena was feeling as well. Yeah, um, <laughs> I think if some, I do hope nobody is really like really gonna make this a big deal. Yes. Yeah, we're, we're, make, we're making it a big deal. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, we're actually, we're actually just talking about we're just it. Talking about we're actually it. just it's not talking about deal. it. Don't worry. Oh, oh. Pero mamaya bukas lalabas siya sa balita. Yeah, oh my God. Most likely, Gar, catch your Facebook. Most likely, <laughs> mangyari yan. But I do hope like no one would like well it's it's actually it's re- it's really well, in all fairness, for me only in all, in all fairness only the people who saw that only can talk people. about that yeah okay. unless unless the kalinga lang from another horse's mouth that's a different story the pero tayo uh, ako i think that's uh, that kind of experience na okay so diba tinanong ko kay, kay earlier after that happened what if the gender swap okay lang Sa akin, okay lang. That feels okay to me. Eh, yun nga, di ba? That's no, a question yeah. of... Do- that's double standards for me. And I admit to that. Hindi. Kasi, of course, if you're into gender equality, if it's gonna be a gender swap, syempre, you also have to, ano? Oo, di ba? You also have to be the, the, the strong... Is, yeah. The bottom line is they were wrestling together. Yeah, they were wrestling together. Of course, if a girl and a woman, is, and a guy and a woman is wrestling, syempre... The guy has more booth strength, uh, na, and more force na in efforts si guy, and that's not really fair for a girl. I think I think the matter here, sige ma'am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, I on. think the matter here is just it's just that too awkward for us to handle. Uh, to, there's a mix mat, uh, mix match challenge na WWE where men are being tag team to women wrestlers. <laughs> Yun nga, pero this is a question of uh, this is a matter of awkwardness talaga on the part of the this, this kit ano, pero I as much as possible I don't want to talk about it anymore kasi it's, it's uh, like, it's like it, this will deepen the issue and papabalik yeah. tayo sabihin sa atin fake news tayo pero nakita natin di ba? Yeah, we saw that. Uh, of course confirmation bias ayun alright okay so that's Pop Culture Hiroshi man all right. Okay. Now uh, we continue on to, of course, uh, we got the good, the bad, and the ugly of uh, pop culture Hiroshima's Philippine qualifiers. Uh, we settled that, and now we settle to World Cosplay Summit Philippines Cebu preliminaries. How was it, sir? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's start with the winner. Let's start with the winner. Let's, just talk, let's discuss about the winner. Class team, S. Team class Pambato, S. Talaga. Ipambato ni Jake. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
I've seen Quest S perform during Nice, the uh, AKA the World Cosplay Summit Grand Finals last year, yeah, so, so. and they 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 are a good team actually, and I'm actually very happy that lahat like they got mga lessons nila or experience from from the previous and uh, previous years of WCS or in previous competitions that they joined. They improved a lot, like. As in, parang 200%, may 200% improvement na nangyari. So I guess it, it was really good that they finally got the, they got the, ano, there, got the, ano, for, they got the, uh, anong tawa nyo? They got the first place. Oh, they got the first place. And that to- For Cebu, ha? Cebu. For, for Cebu, for Cebu, that is. Uh, gin- yun, di ba, pag kung sinabi kong pambato ko talaga to sa, na si Team Class S, is the, the fact na ginawa ko yun nung nasa Manila. Si, ano, si Team XO, Team Eureka. Uh, si, ano, si... Si, si Pinga, saka si... Si SJ. Si SJ na busy oh, na ngayon. Oh, guys. Hi, Ate Pink. Si Ate, si Ate Pink talaga ang active. Si, si SJ, busy, 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 busy talaga, busy. Sobrang busy talaga, kaayo. Um, ayun, yun nga, pambato ko sila. I still remember that time. Kaya pag sinabi mo pambato, I place my hand by place na ano. Uh, di, hindi ako nag-cosplay niya na, but I've observed, uh, ano, I've served, I've observed enough to pick my own bet. Kung manalo matalo, that's my bet. Okay, si Siegfried, well, uh, what can you tell about Siegfried and Shensky? Well, one, thing's for, uh, one thing that I know about Glass S is that I've competed with them and I've also helped and support them. So I I got to help them as well and you know they got to help me. Well they 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 really deserve it, that's number one. And also for the second time, actually I'm very I'm very impressed talaga with Class S because they make they really make history. Did you know that in a, uh, I don't know if you I just wanna share Nong UCC they bag the championship for the second time and now they bag representing Cebu for the second time for WCS last year was them and then this year sila ulit and yes I agree with Selena there's a lot of improvement a lot of a lot of surprise factor a lot of great thing really something to look forward to and that's something their skit and effects were were timing eh spot on they're on sync Spot on. And knowing that they're using the LED, because mm. I was expecting. Usually, the expectations of many people who follow WCS qualifiers is yung the LED thing sa grand finals lang yan. or either if ever sila yung napili for WCS, dun na nila lalabas yung LED. Uh, but pero nila pero nila pasin nila this time. Nila pasin eh. nila and as that, early and, as mm. ano uh, as early as sa ano sa qualifying ano nila. Uh, uh, stage. Well, fine, yeah. oh. uh, and magagayahan na yan kasi the, yeah. the, 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 the LED will be a very important factor in the Philippine finals yeah. in the Philippine na- uh, national preliminaries so uh, since of course since nabanggit na tong story na to yun nga, I might as well uh, that's the new trend here in the Philippines that will be the new trend in the Philippines diba, diba pag sinabing World Cosby Summit the winning skit is the new trend Then, the new trend like what has like sa ano last two years blood, ago the last China. vampire yung yung strings as blood give my my isang team mag, mag, gaya yan yes on the following on the following year on the and following the, year. next year this 2019 World Cosby Summit I'm expecting nostalgia because again last year diba winning by nostalgia ang tem- tema ng Street Fighter eh. Street Fighter that's a classic now Suecia opened the door for participants to cosplay characters from their own published works. Shonen Jump ang pinag-usapan dito. What does that mean? One Piece. Naruto. My, Naruto. One Piece. My Hero yeah. Academia. Everything that's in Shonen Jump. Gintama as well. Dragon Ball. Uh-uh. So, that will open a new trend. And I'm foreseeing na of course, there's still, ano, di ba, makikita natin, may mga balita dyan. Jojo's is now... Jojo. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Hong Kong, Jojo's. Di ba? Okay, that's also Shueisha, I think. So, with that said, Nostalgia will be this year's, uh, with this year's team. So, World Cosby Summit 2019. That's my prediction. 
moving back to the Philippines, I'm looking forward to the national finals kasi I got info, uh, pero hindi pa to confirm. Pero I'm, if this is in Manila, malapit lang ako dyan. I can go there. And if this is in Toycon, you'll be seeing me a few days oh, before. Yeah. Uh, kung this, if this is in Toycon, of course, partner nila si Toycon. If the grand finals will be in Manila, there are go. Ayun. And, usually, and pag hindi ako makapag-feature uh, niyan, kayo mag-feature niyan. Yeah, but diba usually <laughs> around April ba yan or May? Um, Toycon is in June. June. So, it's a bit early for... Well, well, there's still a few months. So, June. Pwede naman, pwede naman. I, pwede I can mag- go, mag- I can go. Mag-budget fair ka. I have a feeling yeah. that uh, there's another leg. I don't know with WC. I don't know. I'm not sure ha, kasi... If it's going to be pang, June, I think there's another leg coming. There, after there, wala pang legs sa Mindanao. Yes. Wala pang legs sa Mindanao. Mindanao, how about Mindanao Cosplay uh, the Mindanao Cosplay Summit, ma'am? The Mindanao Cosplay Summit is... I still have no word about it. It happened. It, it happened. It, that, it happened. In Tagum. Tagum. Ay, yeah, yan, yeah, yun. Yeah, yeah. There's still... They, I've been... It's not confirmed. Just a disclaimer. It's not confirmed. But there's been... There's been word that I've been hearing that there's going to be another qualifiers on my hometown. Yeah. Cagayan de Oro, Cagayan North de Oro. Or no- Northern Mindanao, but it's not <clears throat> confirmed yet. That's what that's what I'm hearing. So, uh, take it on on that note. Take it as a grain of salt. But yeah, as what Jay said, there's already a qualifiers that happened in Tago, and that was in Tagum City. That happened last year, de ba? Oh, last year, yeah, na, last, sa, year right? last year, December. So, so far, we already have a Mindanao qualifier, one Mindanao qualifier. That's one. CDO. I'm not really sure if it's true, but oh, yeah. Pero sa Buanga del Norte, I'm still not sure to it. It's either it's gonna held in Davao, sa Buanga, or in CDO. Yeah. Mm. Ayun. So, uh, all these, we're talking about inside uh, baseball without talking to the inside baseball of baseball, ano? <laughs> yeah, well, by, by inside baseball, I mean, parang insider info na tayo, no? Pero, yeah. Uh, yun nga, these are the things na na-miss ko na pag-usapan when uh, when the remote is still alive. Uh, pero yun nga, that's another story. Now, moving back to World Cosby Summit, uh, yun nga, nabanggit na natin yung mga trends and all that. Uh, overall, we witness the award ceremonies. Let's talk about the entertainment. Yuya from Bacolod. Grabe. Grabe ka, ayo man. I, um, I have a loss for words. I'm, I'm looking for sila kung bag na idol ba eh. I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk to Ambox because they're oh, uh, in, connected uh, they're connected with Ambox uh, I'm going to talk to Miss Joy if we can have Yuya on the next podcast also okay. Pastel Mix Pastel Mix yeah, uh, well, for the ano, as a con goer who had uh, seen Pastel Mix and Yuya for the first time it was a refreshing experience Yuya was like really from serious to funny, like, to epically I funny. I thought the first was like really serious. This is really yes, serious, serious and serious, dramatic no. and sudden. And then, oh my God, a, a cameo of someone that's not. That's not in the franchise. And and then the twist of all twist, Kirito. That was big on Kirito. Eh. Tapos yung pala, yung pala, yung pala parang Cardo Dalisay effect, pinahaba yung story. Eh. Tapos nandiyan pala sa, ganun nandiyan pala mangyari sa huli. Pero that's still funny. Pero yung serious side talaga nila sa band talaga, no? Ano talaga? Their band? Their band. Their band. Their oh. band. Their band. I only hear Yuya sa Visaya sa Bacolod. Mm. VCS. Oh. Uh, Pag-hold ng event si Ambox uh, sa Bacolod. I only hear about Yuya. But uh, them coming to Cebu, my goodness. And it's just in the right time na na-meet na ko sila. I want to meet them more. They, 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 it, it, this is what happens when you're so isolated in taga, being Tagala, so you're so isolated in one place. Uh, kay, kayo, kayo, uh, being uh, Cebuano, being a Cagayan, you're isolated in your places, and then expert ka ng ibang lugar, and then makikita mo, ah, so this is new. So wow. this is new, and this is a refreshing thing. Diba? Take refreshing thing. Uh, especially pa sa mix. I've been... Alam alam nyo, nung nice, di ba, nakita ko sila, hindi pa sila ano noon, hindi pa sila polish noon. Punta sila ng Manila Idol Match, sorry. Polish na polish, kaayo. Now, uh, yun nga, and Manila's uh, missing them a lot. Ang um, tanging uh, maharang lang between Passion Mix and fans from Manila is distance. Yeah. LDR po ang, uh, <laughs> ang sitwasyon ng mga fans na... 
at um, taga Manila. So uh, in this case, eh, ako, eh, I've been I'm, I'm privileged to meet them in person, not just once, twice, twice. Because mm-hmm. yeah, it's, it's the it's the band, uh, ano, eh. and uh, I had I, I have to thank Ambox Events for making this possible. Because they're the ones who bring talent from Pacolod to Davao to ano. Pakolo, Dugdabaw, tapos na ngayon, dinadali na sa Cebu. That's something na they're really dominant na. Yun. And uh, yun yung talagang expertise nila. And I uh, really thank this joy for also giving me the opportunity to speak with Reika one-on-one. Uh, ang daming story na mangyari dito. Ang daming story na pwede kong uh, pag-usapan dito sa Cebu. Uh, fr- uh, from the Moy Moy Kunmay Cafe, up to Reika San, up to the Atomic uh, jelly manga and Gary, you uh, you're also uh, t- uh, taking part in this uh, whole story, the narrative. Because tagala ako, hindi ko alam ang balita sa Cebu. So what happens to me is that I go there, I go here. As much as I ano, di ba nga nagusok tayo nun, eh, no? This is this is coming post event ng uh, post podcast recording namin with Gary. Nung hindi pa ako na pupunta sa Manila and the, you know. Uh, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to have a Bisaya ton talaga. Kasi, yeah, it's just that I have to take note of the innuendo si Double Antan Antan. This, kasi, di ba? <laughs> ang paborito kong kanta is Gumot Gumot by Kanti. Oh my God, to be fresh. Di ba? Kung hindi nga sabi ni, kung hindi nga sabi ni Sirina na uh, may double meaning yon. Eh, kaya pala nag awkward sa akin yung mga tao sa Manila ay uh, ayun nga. So, yeah, well, I uh, I admit my ano, kasi I'm, I I speak in memes. I love memes. Uh, and that's that was before memes, ah, post okay. before pre memes pa yon, nung okay. pina pina play yon. You see, do don charing yon, the charing si ten seven day. Okay, okay, pa yon, okay, pa yon kanta. Uh, Na ilab ko sa bukid. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. It's actually that song. It's actually based from like, parang. He's the yeah. the guy was fooled. Yeah, I was fooled. Because he thought it was he thought it was a girl. That Parang ano, Manila version ng ay Bisaya version ng Chicxulub. 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 Yeah. Ako ay nahulog, nilin lang niloko. Saring na ilab ko sa buhin. Saring kaysa kisa kasing kasi. Pero I hope that you get to uh, also ano, uh, you get appreciate the mga Bisayan song like ano yung Hasula. Ay, Hasula. Hasula oh, I think it's being played on mix. Yes, it's I being played on mix. Karencita Cebuana. Karencita yes, I, I, oh, na, 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 ano ko yun. Karencita is queen. Karencita is queen. <laughs> Karencita is queen. That, he's my queen. Like, I love her. If <laughs> only you saw her nung sa sin, this year's Sinulog, she also performed in the streets of Sinulog her, for her was, MTV. She's so chill. As like in, she is. She's like, She's like one with her people. And I was like, oh my God, she's, she's, she's so precious. Oh my God. Diba? Um, si, si, si Junior Kilat pati. Junior Kilat ay, is based in Cebu, diba? Junior Kilat Ako si M16. No, no, he's based in, he's based in Mindanao. Mindanao. Ah, Mindanao na. Yun nga, diba? Ito sa Osamis. Osamis. If I remember correct. Ako si M16. At your service. Yeah. Yeah. Hindi na yun pwedeng i-play ngayon with the context of things. Yeah, that's in as the far as things, in the context of things. Yes. Diba, parang will and grace, you can still air it in the uh, 1990s. Pero, pero wala, wala nang ano, wala nang rele- ano, kumbaga, it's too far from relevance. Uy, what? Will no, and grace? Will and grace, kasi, diba, may mga, ano, may mga reklamo kaya ngayon these times na parang after they watch... Parang triggered this. Parang triggered, SGWs baga. SGWs. What? Oh, you, you can, Serena knows. What Say, about, sorry, I, 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 I know it's a, will and grace. It's about, it's about uh, weaponry and violence and basta yun yung pinapalabas na Will and Grace now, nowadays? Uh, you know, considering considering that there are some people who are loyal to some government officials and in this government officials are yeah, iba, iba, ano, di, di sa, ano, ito sa dito pa yun sa local context no? on the local context yes uh, in the international context pag sinabing Will and Grace nowadays di ba Will and Grace was a good show great show ano? pero ngayon um uh, yung Will and Grace ngayon is parang ayan, next Jollibee <laughs> pinapalabas na tayo it's already 29 minutes ano? we can continue this discussion pero yun nga, to cap this off yung, di ba, pag if, if we play this SGWs will come and complain yeah. about these different concepts yeah. and Serena knows that yeah. so, 
Uh, dagang salamat. Ano. Confused pa si Gar kung ano yung, kung ano yung kaguluhan na yan. Pero you will eventually know. Reddit. Go. Go to Reddit. Go to Reddit. Just Ayan. avoid our Philippines. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a Will and Grace fan, okay. and I, I watched the new season. I don't see any problem with it. You're aware that there's a new season with Will and Grace, right? Uh, yeah, with that said, uh, that caps up my Cebu journey in, in, this world? in podcast form. It's mayhem in... Uh, this, is, this is immersion. You're, we're in a Jollibee store that's open 24 hearts. <laughs> And now, uh, Sarai will be bidding goodbye for now. And we're not endorsing you, Jollibee. Shut up. <laughs> that wraps up another episode of Keepsakes, the podcast. New episodes can be heard on anchor.fm slash keepsakes, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. You can follow me on Twitter at Jayagonoy. More updates will be posted on facebook.com slash keepsakes by Jay. Leave your voice messages using the Anchor app available on Google Play and the App Store. Shout out to Lee Rose Bear for the music. Thank you for listening to the podcast and I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.